Hello, and welcome to our Marin Health Integrative Wellness Center meditation class. I'm Corliss Chan and happy to be with you today and have you here for meditation. These Monday meditation classes are free and open to everyone. Your family and friends can join us at mymarinhealth.org forward slash meditation. So in this slide, you can see our November schedule. And today we're going to have some guided imagery around managing pain and discomfort. And you can also see this information at mymarinhealth.org. And in the programs and services section, look for integrative wellness. And you can look at this more closely. In our next slide, you'll see that we also have a Marin Health YouTube channel. So when you go to youtube.com, search Marin Health in the search bar, and then click on the Marin Health logo, and then find the Integrative Wellness Playlist. You can also click subscribe to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And in our next slide, you'll see that November 8th, we're having a free Jinshin Jitsu introductory group seminar on Zoom. And if you are joining this class today through the meditation link, you can also use that to join the introductory Jinshin Jitsu seminar. So here's the invitation. You can also look at the invitation more closely with the meeting ID number back at mymarinhealth.org. And then going into programs and services and in the integrative wellness section, there'll be an events tab. You can click on that for more information and to read this more closely. So, Today we're going to talk about breathing. We have a meditation for breathing and also guided imagery to help manage pain and discomfort. Pain can be physical, mental, or emotional. Like this image here, it can be sharp or it can be kind of hazy and hang over us. So we'll just see how imagery can help enhance our healing and relieve pain. You can practice guided imagery regularly as part of your healing practice. We naturally possess a powerful pharmacy of pain-killing chemicals. This group of chemicals, generally classified as endorphins, are found in the brain and spinal cord. They act on pain by way of the limbic system in the brain. These morphine-like chemicals are produced during deep relaxation and imagery, as well as other activities. Setting aside some time daily can help us strengthen our relaxation and pain management skills. So let's begin just to focus on our breathing. Breathing is a major component of relaxation. It helps us to soften when we have a pain response. So just begin to leave behind the outer world. Begin to go within. Allow yourself to Switch from a mode of doing to non-doing.
of just being. You can be sitting or lying in a comfortable place where you won't be disturbed for a while. As you allow your body to become still, bring your attention to your breathing. Become aware of the movement of your breath as it comes into your body and as it leaves your body. Just letting yourself breathe naturally. Not controlling or manipulating your breath in any way. We're trying to change it. Just being aware of your breath and breathing and the feelings associated with breathing. Feel the breath deep down in your belly. Feel your abdomen as it expands gently on the in-breath. And as it falls back toward your spine on the out breath. Be totally here in each moment with each breath. Not trying to do anything else. Set aside our thinking. Not trying to go anywhere. Just being with your breath. Giving full care and attention to each in breath and to each out breath. As the breath follows one after the other in a never ending cycle and flow, you'll find that from time to time, your mind will wander off into thoughts. When you notice that your attention is no longer here and no longer with your breathing, without judgment of yourself or reaction to your thoughts, just bring your attention back to your breathing. Feel the waves of breath coming in and out. Fully conscious of the duration of each breath from moment to moment. Every time you find your mind wandering off the breath, gently bring it back to the present back to the moment to moment experience of observing the flow of your breathing. You can use your breath like an anchor 
a single object to focus your attention, to bring you back to the present. Whenever you notice that your mind is becoming absorbed or reactive, using your breath to help you tune in to a state of relaxed awareness and stillness. As you observe your breathing, you may find from time to time that you are becoming aware of sensations in your body. As you maintain awareness of your breathing, see if it is possible to expand the field of your awareness so that it includes a sense of your body as a whole as you rest here. Feeling your body <clears throat> from head to toe, becoming aware of all the sensations in your body. So that now you are observing not only the flow of breathing, but the sense of your body as a whole. Being here with whatever feelings and sensations come up in any moment, without judging them, without reacting to them. Just being fully here and fully aware. Totally present with whatever your feelings are. And with your breath, and a sense of your body as a whole. And again, whenever you notice that your mind is wandering, just bring your attention back to your breathing and your body. As you rest here, not going anywhere, not doing anything. Just simply being, simply resting. Moment to moment. being fully present, fully with yourself. Reestablishing your awareness of the body as a whole and on the in-breath, as it moves in and out of your body. Coming back to a sense of fullness of each in-breath and the fullness of each out-breath. Breath moving from head to toe throughout your body and your arms. If you notice your attention 
drawn to a stream of thinking. And you're no longer observing your breathing. Just use your breath. In the sense of your breath as an anchor to help stabilize you in the present. Be with your breathing from moment to moment. Resting in stillness. Looking for nothing and being present to all. Just as life is, and just as life unfolds. Just be here, right here, right now. Complete, human, and whole. As we continue to breathe and rest, we imagine creating a safe place for ourselves. Today we'll imagine being at the seashore. Our imagination is enormously powerful. By focusing your mind, you can erase tension, ease aches and pains, and create positive images. Let your five senses guide you and explore your creative side. In managing pain and discomfort of any kind. The seashore we'll go to today can be a real place you've been to before. a place you've heard about or seen in a magazine or an entirely imaginary seashore. Now imagine that you're walking along a path with steps near the seashore You're walking down the beach, down the steps toward the ocean. Look around. See the sun sparkling on the water. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin and the cooling breeze off the water. Occasionally you smell the salt water. See the seagulls gliding over the water and hear their cries as they welcome you to the seashore. As you get closer to the beach, you begin to hear the waves breaking on the shore. 
You're alone here at the seashore and feel at peace with nature. As you stroll down the path, you feel content and happy. Look down and notice the ground you're walking on. See its color. Feel its texture. Notice the colors you are wearing today. Feel your feet on the path as you walk. Feel the free swing of your arms as you stroll along the path. Smell the salty, invigorating air. The ground is turning to sand. If you're wearing shoes, stop and take them off. Feel the warm sand between your toes. As you walk, you can see bits of seashells, driftwood, and rock. Hear the sound of the wind and waves. Boats at sea. And waves washing up on the shore. You're feeling good and at peace with the world. Walk down the beach until you find a place you like. It can be a shaded area enclosed by some rocks or nestled out among the sand dunes. Or right out in the open with an uninterrupted view of the sky. Continue on until you find just the right spot to lie down. You can spread a mat to lie down. Or just sit on the warm, soft sand. Just let yourself get comfortable. Close your eyes and feel the warmth around you. Soaking up the, up the warmth, feeling your muscles just become soft, like melted butter. Breathe in this moment of calm relaxation. Breathe out fully to let go. As you lie on the beach, you can hear the surf, the birds, and feel the gentle breeze on your skin.
the longer you lie here, the more deeply relaxed you become. You actually feel waves of relaxation flowing through your body and a softening. You can say to yourself, this is my special place. I can come here anytime I want to relax. Next, you'll use the sense of warmth for overall relaxation. Imagine that you are being covered by the light beach sand or your own special blanket. Your right leg is covered. And now you can feel it's warmer. Your left leg is covered. And it feels warmer too. Gradually, the sand covers your whole body up to your neck or the blanket, whichever you choose. Your stomach, your chest, your arms are gradually covered. You are enveloped in warm sand. The warmth penetrates all your muscles and joints, tendons and ligaments as they relax. You can extend that relaxation to any thoughts or feelings we may be having. Just invite them to rest for now. Let yourself be at peace and totally relaxed. Now let your attention shift from the outside sounds and feelings to the inside of your body. Imagine your body can be filled with imaginary lights. They can be red or blue. The red represents tension, discomfort in our body, our mind, our feelings. And the blue stands for relaxation. Notice where the red lights are in your body. and where the blue lights are. Just take a moment to scan your body. Notice what you feel. You may notice that as you scan through your body, your lights that go from blue to red, 
representing increased tension and discomfort. There are lights that switch from red to blue, indicating relaxation. Now slowly go through your body and consciously turn all the lights to blue. Blue for relaxation. Fill your body with blue light, letting a wave of relaxation come over you. You may want to do this more than once. If you have any persistent aches, pains, or an injury you are trying to heal, concentrate on changing all the lights in that area to blue. You might have to change the lights several times before they stay blue. Just practice with changing all the lights to blue. If you have chronic or frequent pain in your body, imagine there is a row of pain switches in your head. You can visualize a row of silver toggle switches, each one connected by an imaginary wire. It goes to a part of your body that hurts. Now, imagine flipping those switches one by one to the off position. Go down the row of switches and turn them off. If some of them snap back on after you release them, Go back at the end and turn them off again. You're turning off the pain circuits so the pain messages can't reach you. If you have an injury you want to heal, visualize that part of your body becoming whole and strong again. We can tell ourselves for any discomfort, I can relax anytime I need to. I can ease my pain, tension, or discomfort and make it tolerable. If there's an injured part that's healing, imagine that it's surrounded by a haze of golden light. Visualize your body becoming whole and strong again. A magical healing light that accelerates the process of repair.
And as we continue with our images, begin to gather up any pain you'd like to work with in imagery. Gather it up into a ball, a glowing colored ball. Any color you like. When you have the ball firmly in your mind's eye, practice changing the size of the ball. Noticing how the shadings and intensity of the color changes as you make the ball larger and then smaller. You can change the size of the ball several times, allowing it to become very large, even larger than your entire body. And then watch and feel it shrink down to a very tiny dot of color. You might even use your imagination to change this ball of pain or discomfort into a square, a pyramid, a rectangle. Noticing that it's not as fixed as it may feel. Play with the possibilities of size, intensity, and color. Now see if you can move the ball of pain up to the surface of your skin now. And as you do so, let some or all of the ball move through your skin. And feel it gently resting on the surface of your skin. Notice the size and color again. As you imagine the ball beginning to float above the surface of your skin. gradually floating up and away. Moving across the room that you're in. And even drifting through the window or wall. Imagine the ball that represents your pain drifting out through the roof of the building where you are. And over the tops of the trees and buildings. And finally disappearing from your sight. Returning now to the feelings within your body and mind. Scanning them again. 
Become aware of any changes that have occurred. Knowing that each time you practice this imagery or another, you'll become a more adept at managing pain and discomfort. So just take a moment to scan your body. Notice how you're feeling. The more we practice this imagery, we'll strengthen our pain management skills. And again, whether it's physical pain, mental, or emotional. Whether it's a headache, or a sore arm. So as we end our meditation for today, gather together any images and impressions from your journey. You can bring them back with you when you return your attention to the outer world. You can always listen to the recording of this practice just to strengthen your skills. So when you feel ready, and open your eyes and come back to this day fully. So welcome back everyone. I hope the mindfulness and pain management guided meditations were helpful. They were adapted from the works of Jean Achterberg, John Kabat-Zinn and other teachers. So let any feelings of ease stay with you as long as you like. I hope you'll use today's practice to manage pain and discomfort mindfully. So thank you so much for being here today. I've enjoyed being with you. Thank, thank you, for Corliss. Being here to build our community and resilience. I hope you'll join me again for future meditations. Until next time, please stay safe, stay well, and have a good week.